Welcome to Lingo Learning. In this video, I will provide you with a quick start guide. After logging into the back office, click on Settings, and then Store Information. Enter your business information and choose the settings that best fit your business. When all information has been completed, press the Update button. Next, click on Store Timings tab. Set all the opening and closing times for each day of the week, and then press Update. Now click on the Printer Configuration tab. The first tab configures the front end receipt. Click on the Enable Receipt Print in POS if you will be using a receipt printer. Configure the rest of the receipt to fit your business and press Update Template. And make any changes based on your business needs. Press the Update Template to save changes. Now click on the Email Receipt Template. Enable the Digital Receipt in POS if you want the option to send digital receipts to customers at the end of a sale. After you have reviewed the other options, press the Update Template to save your changes. Click on the Kitchen Printers tab. You can add or edit a printer. Put in a name and IP address, then choose if you want this printer to apply to all categories. Press the Update button when completed. The last tab configures your receipt printers. You can add or edit a printer, put in a name for the printer and then the IP address. Choose default if this will be your main receipt printer. Press the update button when completed. Now click on the user management tab and then users. You can edit an existing user or add a new user. Make sure all the required information has been entered and press payment details. Configure the appropriate pay information and then press save. Now click on the products and items tab and then departments. Verify that the default departments will fit your needs or press the add department button to create a new one. Now click on coursing. Verify the default coursings will fit your needs, or press the Add Coursings button to create a new one. Next, click on the Serving Size Levels tab. You can add additional serving sizes by pressing the Add Serving Size Level button. Click on the Taxes tab. Either edit the existing tax rate, or press the Add Tax button to create a new one. If adding a new one, make sure you choose the correct Apply To option for your business and then add the percentage. You can also designate the new tax as the default tax or choose the tax to be inclusive. Press Update when finished. Now click on the Categories tab. Verify that the default categories will fit your needs or press the Add Category button to create a new one. You can also click on the Sort Category button to choose the order that the categories will appear on your POS menu screen. Click on Modifiers. To edit a modifier, click on the Edit button. You can click on the Set Price Here slider, then click on the Prefixes and Serving Size levels. Add each applicable serving size. Enter the price of the modifier for each serving size. Press the Add button to add a prefix. Give the prefix a name and price. Then enter the price of the prefix for each serving size. Press the Update button to save. Click on the Modifier Groups tab. Add a new modifier group or edit an existing one. Add each of the modifiers that belong to this group and click on the pizza topping if this group contains pizza toppings. You can also choose to set the price here. Press the update button to save. Now click on the products items tab. You can add or edit menu items. Enter the required information and then move across the top progress bar to the next step. 
configure the included modifiers, the optional modifiers, and finally the mandatory modifiers. When done, press the update button. Now click on the My Stores tab. Press the Publish your menu changes to the iPad button. You will see a Store Published Successfully message. Now launch the Linga POS app on your iPad. Key in your four digit PIN and press the clock in button. Key in your four digit PIN again and press the operation button. Click on the POS settings tab. Press enable employees to set till, set the cash drop limits, and press save changes. Click on the Sync Back Office tab. You'll receive a Your Back Office is Up to Date message. Click on the Hardware Settings tab and then Printer Settings. Verify that the correct printer is checked. Press the Till Management tab. Click on the Till button on the top left. Click on the Set Till button and enter the starting till amount. Then press Set Till. Click on the POS tab, and you can now start ringing orders. For more Linga POS training resources, visit our support page at support.lingapos.com.